everyone this is day 12 of coding series today i'm going to tell you that how we can develop app on plesmo online in day 11 i have already told you that how you can simply download plesmo but let us start online so for that i'll be searching plesmo app online and or you can directly go for www.plesmo.com and as we are going to open this site we'll have many different options what we need to do is we need to look for start learning for free and as soon as we are going to get that option we'll be clicking over it again we are going to find many different options here like plesmo story coder plesmo math coder plesmo app coder so as we need to build app we should start with building an app so this is plesmo app coder direct link is also given in the description of this video if you want to go directly to this page you can just click over that link now after this what you need to do is you need to go for sign in that means you need to make account here that without that we cannot move further so I have already created one account and I have already logged in here so you can see so after logging in you can see that this is the home page or the dashboard and what we need to do here is we need to create a new project these are the projects that I have already made and I need to create a new project. So let's start with that creating a new project and clicking over it. After that this box will come to create new project you need to give name. So let's give some easy name. Quiz easy and objective we can write something about objective. So coding for my first quiz app and we can add some description and tags on after that we can go for create we can also add some kind of images here. So here is my new interface that I have created in this app we have many different buttons like this sliders switch table text box labels many things are present also we have two different modes here one is the coding area and other is the app design so first of all we need to start up with designing of this app and here we have some options by which we can design this app let us add some elements we need to write add some elements so let us start with adding up of some image and some text also i'm adding image here as image background and i'm going to just add some of its feature so i don't want any border color kind of image from my device so whatever images if there are some kind of uh, GIF present we can add GIFs also so I'm adding one GIF as you can see here this is the GIF that is present so this looks fine and okay so here I'm having my image I can add some more elements for writing about this so that it can become knowledgeable first page I am writing here label first page so in this page what we can write we can write some text about our quiz welcome to quiz birds so we'll be starting up with a few questions of birds only 
so this is welcome to quiz birds and we can increase the size we can in change font also we can change font size if it is required and anytime we can remove the border colors if you want you can give the background color also so i'm just going to increase the font size like this and welcome to okay quiz birds so let's save this and let us bring it here in the middle so welcome to quiz birds and we need here one button so that we can start up moving to the next canvas so i am adding a button here giving it name button start because this start button will let everyone to move to the next place so start button and let us increase its font size so that it should be visible also we need to increase its height a little bit and width a little bit so here we are having our start button with some borders also you can give any kind of color let us keep it at a good location now after this i want to add a new canvas canvas means a new page so i am adding here a new canvas that will be automatically named as app screen 2 so i have added a new canvas and let us give some background color for a change i am giving light color to background also let us start up with coding for this canvas first of all so we need to write some questions so let us start with label label is question 1 and let us write the first question as name uh or we can write choose choose a bird that cannot fly and let's increase Height and its width. Let's make it hundred. Let's make it two hundred. And let's add the different kind of font. Let's make the size as thirty. So for making it look better, I think I need to change width also a little bit more. Four hundred. Okay, and height. Then we can reduce its height. We can just go for eighty. So twenty-five. No, twenty-two. Yes, now it's fixed. And let's remove the border, but add some background for making it look different. I'm adding some background here. So here we have our first question that you need to choose a bird that cannot fly. And for options, let us add some kind of options. For option, we can add some buttons here. So I am adding button question one A, and this is the first option is A, and let it be any bird like parrot. so similarly we can add many options so let us here add only two options for making it much more easier and let's have a look that how we can work on it okay so let's start the coding part quickly and here we need to hide the code area so here we are having two app screens this was the first screen that we have made and this is the second screen that we have made let us start coding from the first screen so in this screen what we need to do is we need to code for start that whenever we are going to click on start button it should move to the next canvas so here i am writing that uh, we are having button whenever is 
this button is clicked whenever button start is clicked now see i have written a proper name so finding out the button becomes easy and we need to move the canvas to app screen 2 here we are having app screen 2 go to canvas app screen 2 let us have a look at how it works and i'm going to start execution this is start execution and here i'm going to click on start so here we are having the second screen right so let's stop execution and code for the next part also so this is my app screen 2 now we need to choose the correct option here so we need to code for that now if the person is going to click on parrot then what should happen and if the person is going to click on ostrich then what should happen so now first of all whenever button option a is going to click then it should turn the color of this button and we can just set font color of button we can just change the color font uh, let's not change the font color actually let's change the background color so background color as we can make it red for being very specific let's make this color as red so the color will be changed red and we can also display some message that oops not correct answer we can also display that or making it red is also fine now let's code for the second option that is ostrich so whenever we are going to click the button that is option one question one b then the color of the ostrich is already green let us change it a little bit more so that it can become a little bit more better and we can just go for making it a little bit brighter green darker green i mean darker green fine so i have added one blank text box for displaying the message and let's add some code so show something on text box so what message we can show here let us show some message that correct correct answer well done well done so this is the message that we want to show but we do need to change the size of this text box we can just increase its width to 250 so that all the message can come properly otherwise it won't look better let's have a look by starting it that how does it seems how does it appear so here we are having our quiz if you want you can just give border also to this canvas it will look much better so um okay let's start with border only and uh, let's have a look at this canvas i'm going to add i'm going to personalize this pencil means to personalize so background color or some images a little bit of shade we can give for this also let's start up with this and here we need to again personalize it because our height and width is not matching so better i can choose the same kind of color and we can just Keep it in the center part. This is also fine. This is also fine now. So in the next part, we need to choose about the answer. That A's answer or B's answer. So just remember that we need to change the background color of the same button. So the same button is this one. And here whenever this is clicked the background color of the same button should get that is b button should get changed now let us start execution start up from the very first part and let's have a look so welcome to quiz birds and start 
if I'm going to choose parrot, it turned red, it's wrong. And if I'm going to choose ostrich, it turned dark green, correct answer, well done. So here we have made the first question of our quiz and similarly, you can add many more pages. You can simply duplicate these pages or you can. So this is our quiz app. Let us start. And we can choose any option. If you are going to choose the incorrect one, it will change its color to red. If you are going to choose the correct option, it will say correct answer. Well done. So this is about the first question. You can add many more questions like this. Now moving to the most important part of this app. When you are done with creation of this app, you need to close the project here you can see a back arrow just by clicking this back arrow your project will be saved and you'll be able to see it on the dashboard now we need to create a web app or create android app we have both the options that we can create web app and android app for creating web app you just need to click over create web app this option you will get from the three dots that are present at the top of the app or project that you have created i'm creating i'm clicking on create web app and when the web app is ready access link will be sent to you on registered email address so whatever email address you have registered while making your account on that you'll get it so if i'm going to click ok very soon you'll get a message that web app created successfully and over your device you'll get that link and for creating android app i'm just clicking over create android app here we need to give some name also for the app because we'll get a download downloadable link so let's give the name quiz bird and I'm clicking OK. So Android app creation initiated successfully and link you'll get on your registered email address. This is how simply you can create Android apps as well as web app and you'll get link for it.